What's happening there guys and welcome back to our channel. The discoveries concerning Bobby Dassey and Making a Murderer Part 2 were possibly the most shocking of the entire series. While we're up to date on Brandy Dassey's developments, what about his brother? As Stephen Avery's post-conviction attorney Kathleen Zellner masterfully smashed her way through his appeals process, the new episodes have delivered a wave, indeed a tsunami, of fresh evidence in his case. Viewers have many questions for Bobby Dassey and his close family, so let's dive into where is Bobby Dassey in 2022. Number 5. Who is Bobby Dassey? Making a Murderer fans have been focusing on Bobby Dassey, Stephen Avery's nephew, and Brendan Dassey's brother in recent weeks of 2021. So you're undoubtedly asking who he is and why he's a suspect in Teresa Halbach's assassination. At the end of Season 2, when Zellner discovered hundreds of films of obscenity and violence against women on a computer hard drive he used, Bobby Dassey became a person of interest. Zellner tampered with part of the evidence, leading to a weapons expert testifying that the pistol discovered on Avery's home couldn't be linked to Teresa Hallbach's murder decisively. Kathleen Zellner then made some shocking comments on Twitter in April of 2021. According to a fresh witness, Bobby was seen pulling a Toyota RAV4, the same type Hallbach was driving, onto Stephen Avery's property with an unnamed 50-year-old male. Following this, Brad Dassey, Brennan and Bobby's half-brother, has come out to say that his uncle Avery is innocent. Barb Toddich, he claims, cleaned the family laptop clean of pornography before it was confiscated by investigators. Brendan Dassey's older brother and Stephen Avery's nephew is Bobby Dassey. Bobby was one of the prosecution's major witnesses in his uncle's court case, even though he is now a suspect. Bobby testified during Avery's trial that he saw Teresa Hallbach photographing Avery's possessions before she vanished. Brad, Bobby and Brendan's half-brother, recently stepped up regarding Barb's alleged evidence manipulation. Brad recalled his stepmother asking him about erasing data from a computer in the vehicle one day. Barb questioned Brad if deleted data is lost permanently, to which Brad replied no, stating that deleted files may be restored from a computer with the correct knowledge. Barb and Bobby are now included in the photo. We don't know how factual this is, but the fact that Barb sued her stepson for harassment when he spoke out says something. Is she attempting to keep him quiet? Since 2012, Bobby Dassey has been married to Brenda Sheck. Brenda is a registered nurse with a bachelor's degree in nursing from the University of Wisconsin. Bobby dropped out of high school and went to work for an auto parts firm. Brenda and Bobby have a son who was born in December of last year. Bobby hasn't publicly commented on the Netflix documentary or his brother's conviction and appears invested in continuing to live a peaceful life with his wife and child, according to Bustle. Number 4. Kathleen Zellner after the first season of Netflix's Making the Murderer premiered, many people speculated about who may have murdered Teresa Halbach if it wasn't Stephen Avery. Kathleen Zellner unveils fresh Denny suspects in Making a Murderer 2, and the findings regarding Bobby Dassey are shocking. Bobby Dassey doesn't make an appearance in Making a Murderer 2. However, a police interview of Dassey and his testimony, which helped convict his uncle, aired on the series. The revelations about his potential involvement in the murder left viewers wondering where Bobby Dassey is now. Kathleen Zellner, Stephen Avery's post-conviction attorney, applied with the Wisconsin Circuit Court in Manitowoc County requesting that previously suppressed material be submitted to her client's appeal. A CD containing data from the Dassey family computer is being used as evidence and may provide a reason for Bobby Dassey's murder. In Making a Murderer 2, Zellner said that Bobby Dassey obtained the unsettling internet searches and pornographic photos portraying women being tortured when he was alone at home. Bobby may have been coerced into testifying after the prosecution exposed his online history, according to Zellner. Kathleen Zellner, Stephen Avery's lawyer, has stated a great quantity of fresh evidence in this case. Kathleen said that they're still working as hard as ever on the case, which was the subject of the Netflix documentary Making a Murderer on Twitter to inform her fans of any discoveries. She wrote, Just in case any of you are wondering, we're working as hard as ever on Stephen Avery's case. We'll be filing a new petition with a huge amount of new evidence. We'll never give up pounding on the doors of justice for him. 
at making a murderer, hashtag truth wins. Avery, 59, remains in prison for the murder of Teresa Halbach in 2005. Avery has always maintained his innocence and believes he was framed by the Manitowoc County Police Department after he sued them for a wrongful conviction for another crime in 2003. Number 3. Barb Toddich's Family and Relationship to Bobby Dassey Toddich is the sister of Stephen Avery, who, along with her son Brandon, is receiving a life sentence in jail. Brendan is still visited by Toddage daily in prison. Thanks to fresh information from Kathleen Zellner, Stephen Avery's lawyer, her other son Bobby Dassey has been linked to Teresa Halbach's murder. Toddage's stepson Brad Dassey recently went up regarding Toddage reportedly assisting in removing pornography from the family's laptop before it was confiscated by authorities in connection with the Halbach case. After that, Toddage filed a harassment complaint against him, which was dismissed. Number 2. Currently Going On Bobby was initially introduced to us in part 1 of the Netflix series when he testified for the prosecution as a critical witness in Avery's trial. Bobby said that he saw Teresa Halbach arrive at the Avery property and see her snapping photographs. This witness is Bobby's brother Brian Dassey, who states that Bobby informed him that he had seen Teresa depart Avery's salvage yard after finishing her photographic assignment. I recall Bobby saying to me, Stephen couldn't have murdered her since I saw her leave the property on October 31st, 2005, according to the statement. Brian has been saying this since Teresa vanished in 2005, but neither the prosecution nor the defense asked him to testify in Avery's trial. You may assume that this proof is enough to justify Bobby's suspicions, but things were about to get a lot murkier. Zellner indicated in Episode 8 that her legal team had access to data from Bobby's computer's hard disk. They re-interviewed him, and Dassey got unbelievably frightened when they cited evidence found from his bedroom computer, according to the investigators. This isn't exactly breaking news. In 2006, the police executed a search warrant and confiscated the computer. Detective Mike Velli received it from lead investigator Tom Fassbender for forensic testing. Avery's defense team was not given this damaging material. Instead, prosecutor Ken Kratz appears to have gone through great measures to hide it, mislabeling the drive as Brendan's. The CD with the findings was still in Fassbender's possession. The report would have been a huge help to the defense in Avery's trial, giving them a method to undermine the prosecution's key witness while simultaneously giving them a Denny suspect. Number 1. What do people think? Many have questioned if Bobby Dassey has been arrested or imprisoned for the contents of the computer in light of this evidence. Zellner responded to this on Twitter, confirming that no legal action has been initiated at writing. Furthermore, when questioned if watching or downloading the items in issue constituted a crime in and of itself, the attorney stated, I don't have any information that has been reported by law enforcement or the prosecution. The Dassey computer was at the family home at this point, while Zellner claims that we know on the days that we isolated in our files that only Bobby Dassey was home. Despite this, he was never investigated as a suspect in Teresa Halbach's murder in 2005. Kathleen Zellner has continued to update case fans on Twitter. During a Making a Murderer Twitter Q&A on November 15th, she disclosed an alternate murder chronology based on her study into the case, detailing what she believes occurred to Teresa Halbach. Bobby was listed among the names of those that refused to take part in Making a Murderer 2, and people who are fans of the show are still wondering where he stands. It would be nice to keep track of everyone involved in this chilling case, of course, and a third season has to have him. Let me know if you guys think that Bobby Dassey is somehow involved in all of this in the comments down below, and I'll catch you guys later in another awesome video. Take care now!